Hello, 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 it's Attorney Mike Grevin coming to you from Chicago as usual. Sorry to grab a cup of coffee real quick. I did. I did. I needed round two before I got through this. There's some good stuff. I got two good clips. One was sent to me by Kristen in Traverse City, my hometown. We're going to Traverse City for a wild one. And then I got another good one on Discord from Angie. NGA. I don't know how to pronounce it, but but uh, she sent me a good nugget, too. They're both fun. Let's do this thing, shall we? Let's see. I can't even let them know, Mike. Oh, my God, what is going on? All right. Can you hear me now, Mr. McCune? Hello? Yeah. Dar. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, good I can morning, hear you, Mr. Know. McCune. Good morning. All right, and that is file 7817 of 2022, People versus James Edward McCune Jr. Ms. Claxton is here yeah, on the defendant's behalf. And Ms. Olson for the people. Make, make sure you can hear this because he doesn't show up visually. It's it's all it's all uh what you can hear. But it's it's good stuff. Ms. Claxton, uh, it's my understanding that there's been a plea offer and your client wishes to plead guilty. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. What's the plea oh. offer, Ms. Olson? Hey, hey. Whoa. Hey, what the hell? What the fuck? Why you No. No. Don't you hit me first. Don't I'm on the phone with the court, again. man. Don't you ever touch Why'd my Why'd you do that to my wife? Again. Okay. Yeah, don't. What's the night? It's all right. Yeah, well, well don't, don't. are you okay? She didn't mean to do that. <laughs> hey. She my bra off and everything, James. You broke your bra. off and everything. Oh you, my you broke my wife's stuff, bro. You're supposed to be helping her. You attacked me. Shut the fuck up, right. Mr. McCune. You can go to jail. Hey, I'm on the phone, you two. Stop it. You walk that way now. I. Okay. I, I've muted the defendant. Uh, Thank we you. We should send an officer to that location. It sounds like an assault in progress. What, what's your client's location, Ms. Claxton? Let me tell you, I grew up here. This guy is so Traverse City. He's just a straight arrow. He's like, mm, sounds like there's an assault in progress. Maybe we should send <laughs> some officers out, except they're not in Grand Traverse County. Your Honor, it's my understanding he's currently residing in Harrison, Michigan. They were at a gas station earlier today when I was talking to him. Oh, so they may not even be at home. Yeah. All you right. Well, that, did you? Uh, we'll, we'll have uh, the, we'll contact the sheriff. He lives in Harrison. Your Honor, it's my understanding um, that he's staying with a friend in Harrison. He he informed me that he was um, uh -huh. locked out of his house by his landlord, and so he's staying with a friend in Harrison, Michigan. This mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this does not seem like the right time to be taking a plea. We're going to schedule for a plea in the future. Uh, I think there's too much going on with Mr. McCune and uh, for him to it's genteel up there in Trevor City. It really is. <laughs> uh, just for reference, so you know, I mean, I grew up in Trevor City. I don't know where Harrison is. It's some other part of Michigan, but it's not close. So he is. It's not like he can have the police go out and, and check the situation, which is what, which was his first instinct and a good one. But um, like I said, if I if I don't know where Harrison is, it's not close to Trevor City. Focus on the task at hand. So, Miss Odom, you want to pick a date for that? Ms. Claxton, is there a date that you know you're here? Don't worry. He comes back. Are we looking at this week? I mean, I'm there on Thursday. Is, is that too soon? Happy birthday, Odonata. Well, it's not too soon for Odonata. us. If, it's, if you're able, I guess we could tell Mr. McCune. Right Hello? Now. I guess the, the notice won't. All right, Mr. McCune, 
Uh, is uh, no, I can do it. There? It was just a minor. Hey, excuse me, Your Honor. It was just a minor complication between the person who was walking with us and my wife, and I just broke it up. They split up now. She she's at a store. She's safe. I'm safe. He's safe. He's out of the way. Everything. It is just a minor confrontation. I love it. I love it. Is that, dude, we heard it. We heard it. It, it was, it was kind of fantastic. I, <laughs> no, Judge, don't worry. Let's carry on with my guilty plea here. It's um, cleared away. Sorry about that. Okay. Is there any need to I have do, a I can do the case today. answer come out? Uh, no, we don't need no law enforcement. We're, we're okay. Everything just needs to calm down. Right there, when he says, we don't need no law enforcement. Yeah, because my suspicion, and I could be wrong, but the way I read this, because we're, we're having conversation back and forth, is that he's out on a crime spree with his, with his chick, and, uh, you, you know, while he's pleading guilty to something else. I could be wrong, but that's, that's just the overwhelming vibe I have. That, and that's why I put up the poll. Tell me what you guys think. You know what I mean? Okay, are you alone right now? Yeah, I'm sitting outside by myself. I'm all by myself. It's really quiet and everything's kosher. Everything's calmed down. Everything's kosher, Judge. Okay. Don't worry. Well, I guess I'll go ahead with the plea then. So, yeah, uh, I was going to take Olson, the plea deal. All right, let's carry on. Okay, what is the plea offer, Ms. Olson? The defendant may plead to attempted no account check provided he agrees to the entire restitution of $4,793.63. <laughs> okay, you Ms. Look at Claxton, it? is that uh, your understanding of the plea agreement? Yes, Your Honor. It would be a great shirt. And that's a one-year misdemeanor, correct, Ms. Olson? The attempt is the one-year, yes. Okay, so Mr. McCune, is that your understanding of the plea agreement? You're going to plead guilty to a one-year misdemeanor, attempt, no account, yes, check, sir. the felony charge would be dismissed? Yes, that's what I'm pleading guilty to today. I'm taking the plea offer. Okay, and you have also agreed to pay the restitution in the amount of $4,793.63, correct? Yes, sir, I did. Yes, sir, I did. All right. So I need to go over your rights with you before I can accept your plea, so please listen carefully. Have you been okay. threatened, forced, or coerced in any way to get you to change your plea? No, sir, I have not. Has Ms. Claxton answered all your questions to your satisfaction? Yes, she has. Do you understand if I accept your plea that there will be, uh, you're foregoing any future claim that your plea was a result of other inducements, uh, threats, or promises that haven't been disclosed? Yes, sir, I understand. Also understand you'll have a conviction for attempted no account check and that carries a maximum penalty of up to a year in jail. Yes, I understand. I need to go over your trial rights with you, so please listen carefully. You have the right to be presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, and you have the right to a jury trial. Do you understand all of those okay. rights? Uh, I'll check you out in a minute. I know you. Let me check your ribs. Right. Yeah, you really are. I don't know why you really did that. Bad. I don't know why he did that. You really did it bad. He, he was being dumb. Again, why he did that, I'm guessing, is is some provocation from you guys. I could be wrong. But that's my guess. Call you an ambulance when I'm done. No, I'll get an ambulance. We'll get back to the ER. All right. I'm going to finish up my court hearing and I'll get an ambulance here, okay? <laughs> All right. Where, where are you at? Woman, let me plead guilty here. <laughs> then, then, I'll, then we'll deal with your issues. All right? Mr. McCune. <laughs> Um, me and her are out in Harrison right now. A guy invited us out here to hang out from a friend named Ben. And that guy just assaulted my wife for no reason. Walked right up on her when she was like 20, 25 feet in front of us. And he ran and like fucking tried to like buffalo pack her ass, bro. He grabbed her right in the chest and hit her. 
<laughs> yes, yes. That's going to work great. Call a Traverse City judge uh, bro. That That's perfect. That's perfect. And, that, and this is why I'm trying to take this plea deal is because everybody is hurting, hurt, trying to hurt my wife and being physically and soft and abusive. Which gas you know? station are you at? Uh, um, um, I, I don't know the name of it. it. It's right in front of me, but there's a pine tree, tree blocking the view. But maybe this guy here might know. He's asking me what gas station. Excuse me, sir, what is that gas station? We're not from here. What gas station? That one right there. <laughs> All right, we're walking towards the gas station now um, and stuff. <laughs> Wait, are you guilty? I don't or not? exactly know where I'm at. Um, we came out are here. You, have you contacted you. the police? It sounds like you need no, to contact no, no. the no, we sheriff. I uh, know. This happened while we were on the phone. This happened while you were on the phone when you wanted to uh, cancel the day and do it another day and all that. Um, that was that whole argument, what was happening when I broke up. And I told the dude to press on and go his way and leave my wife alone and stop putting his hands on it. Because he tried to go back at her again, and I didn't let it go down. I, I broke it up. Uh, I don't like fighting. I don't like people hitting each other, you know what I mean? So when he went after my wife, I heard it and stood in between it. I grabbed well, him off. And like you need to contact the police and tell them what intersection you're at so they can take a report. Yeah. But now we got to figure out how we're getting home because the guy who's supposed to be picking us up ain't picking us up until Friday. Um, ben ain't. So, Judge, can you give us an Uber? <laughs> oh, I know he has tonight off, so I'm going to try to call Ben, too, while I'm at it. Um, I don't know what this gas station is. What is this gas station? I can't read. Sunoco. All right, so right the snow what road are you at? In Harrison. Uh, we don't know. We don't know anything. We're, we're not near from Harrison. We're, we're, we're just out here visiting. We were. You're and then he Harrison, just attacked us. Right? You know? Yeah, we're in Harrison, Michigan. Um, okay. We don't know in the road, man. I mean. All right, so uh, do you feel that you can continue with the plea? Do you, you know what's going on? Mm -hmm. You're yeah, I understand distracted. what's going on. Yeah, I'm not all distracted right. by anything. Everything That's here is good. kosher now. Everybody calm down. When I get off the phone, I'll just make me a few phone calls and get us out of here. You know what I mean? All right. So, yeah. So, so uh, I can do the plea continue. deal. Uh, so all right. I just got done explaining you have the right to a jury trial and to be uh found not guilty unless proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt you understand that see i understand it you all is he saying c is in like spanish yes <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile his attorney uh, is just stoic she's awesome she's just like please let this just happen and let's move on with our day also has the right to have witnesses against you appear at trial and to have witnesses subpoenaed if you need witnesses to testify on your behalf. You understand that? Yes, I do. <laughs> and you have the right to testify, or if you remain silent, uh, the prosecutor couldn't make any comments about that silence. You understand that? Yeah, I can understand that. And you're giving up your right to appeal that you'd have if you went to trial. Do you understand that? Okay. I understand. You understand you're giving up all those trial rights we just discussed, and that's what you want to do, and it's of your own free will, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. I need to ask you some questions at this time about the offense, so, uh, so I know that there was a crime committed. So well, is it true committed. that you passed this uh, check or series of checks on, and the check checking account was closed at the time yes sir and the total amount was about four thousand seven ninety three sixty three 
Correct. Yes, sir. Okay, and the check was passed at a location in Grand Traverse County, correct? Correct. All right, and uh, you knew the account was closed at the time, correct? Correct. All right, then to the charge of no attempted no account check. As a one-year misdemeanor, how do you plead? Guilty. I'll accept your plea, find it's voluntary, accurate, and understanding. We'll set this for sentencing. Ms. Odom? How about May 26th um, at... Uh, does 9.30 work? That works. Uh, 9.30? Um, could we do it around like 10, 10.30? He's busy. Yeah, why don't we do that since he's coming up from Harrison? 10.30. So. Ms. Claxton, does that work for you? That works for me. Um, Judge, I guess just a little background. I don't know if the court would allow him to appear on Zoom again for sentencing. Um, he recently... No, I'm not to go well, he, what's the reason? So he recently pled to um, an uttering and publishing in Ottawa County. He is on circuit court probation, and he did serve four months in that case, um, which would run concurrent with this case. Um, the idea in this case is obviously to get the, the restitution money. Um, it sounds like Mr. McCune lives downstate, although he's staying in Harrison. It sounds like he's going to return to the Ottawa County area. Um, he recently yeah, I'm heading back towards Wyoming. We're only out here for five days. Are you okay? okay? Yeah. And so um, they, they would be coming up from downstate. It sounds like he's having some financial issues. I guess we would rather have any sort of transportation. Oh, good Lord. If he's saying Wyoming, he probably means th that's sort of a, roughly speaking, a suburb of Grand Rapids. So you, you are, you're good three hours from Traverse City at, at the place that he claims he's going to be at. Station costs go towards um the restitution amount your honor if you would consider um allowing him to to appear on zoom given all of that all right well i uh i i'm not gonna do that uh ottawa county's a, maybe a three-hour drive and uh this is sentencing in a case that was originally charged as a felony and uh I don't know enough about the case to know that there might not be some additional jail time so uh, for those reasons, I am going to deny the request. Okay, so there you have it. The judge is not buying any of this crap, but y y it's hard for it's easy for me to see. But it, it's it's <laughs> he's he's not gonna he's not gonna be um, uh, he's not gonna show it openly. I know my people. Okay, but but him saying no, get up here in person means I don't believe anything that's going on here. And uh, th there might be additional jail time, but he's going to say it nicely and quietly. Uh, you'll need to be here in person for the sentencing, Mr. Uh, McCune. And uh, did you get a trial date, Ms. Odom? Sentencing date is 526. At 5, 526 at 1030. And I do need you to contact our probation office, Mr. McCune, Ms. Claxton's going to get you the phone number, and you need to call today between 1 and 3.30. Is there anything else for you, Ms. Claxton? No, Your Honor. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that, no, that's All it. All right. So, uh, it, it got Mr. Uh, McCune, we're all set. Uh, uh, hopefully, you can take care of your situation there. And uh, Yeah, we got it covered. Did you call the police? No, I'm on the phone right now with you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to leave that up to, I'm gonna leave that up to my wife. What my wife wants to do is look. Right now. Okay. okay. Judge, you're totally monopolizing my line right now. If, if I get off the phone, let me tell you, when he gets off the phone, the police are the last people he's calling. <laughs> Well, let's all pretend that, that, that well let's all go, go along with the charade till the end of the hearing here shall we hey so uh the clear county sheriff should be there soon so we're all set for this morning and you can sign off and i hope everyone is okay there yeah he's all right i'll, I'll be in contact with the probation board soon 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 today before five tell the police officer everything that has been recorded 
we could hear this the yelling and so forth so if they need mm -hmm. that evidence we'll get it to them okay okay all, all right. right take care bye bye Mm. Okay, I'm assuming that's a yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. All right. Uh, little, little. Okay, this one I got from my Discord. It's kind of fun. We, we've got a judge. It, it, this one falls under the category of judges not having it. I haven't seen all of it, but what I did see, it, <laughs> the judge is not having it. To the right, other side. There you go. Mr. Allen, raise your right hand for me. They got me shot, but I can't. You put your right hand up, man. Okay, just put your hand up. Do you solemnly swear or affirm any testimony you give in this matter will be true? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can put your hand down. So, Mr. Allen, you're before the court on 2023-CR-02951 for reckless conduct, count one, criminal trespass, count two, your attorney with the law firm of Lister Holt and Dennis, Mr. White, has indicated you're entering a plea of guilty to both counts. Um, <clears throat> by doing so, you give up the right to have a trial by jury or judge. You give up the right to have the state prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. You give up the right to have the presumption of innocence in your favor. You give up the right to confront witnesses, subpoena witnesses, present testimony and evidence on your behalf, to not incriminate yourself or present any testimony or evidence against yourself. And Mr. Allen, if you're not a United States citizen, a plea of guilty or no contest could negatively impact your immigration status. Do you understand all of these things, sir? All right. Factual basis and recommendation, please. March 26, 2023, officers responded to location 275 Upper Riverdale Road, Jonesboro, Georgia. Uh, this was a response to a domestic call. Uh, they learned that the uh, defendant had fired a weapon, um, uh, specifically a handgun, within the apartment uh, belonging to himself and to Paula Hoover. Uh, this was also in the presence of uh, three minors, uh, Don Travius Neal. Uh, um, Rod Torian Staley and Messiah Allen. Um, uh, the uh, the gunshot uh, damaged a wall within the apartment. Uh, that's the basis for the disorderly conduct, or rather the reckless conduct, and the criminal trespass is the damage to the wall caused by the firearm. Uh, the recommendation is 12 months to serve, 30 days, credit for time served, the balance to be probated, uh, the defendant to take a gun safety class, and uh, there's a $500 fine that's suspended for the time served, uh, no violent or harassing contact with the uh, named victims, uh, those being present, uh, including Ms. Hoover, and the defendant is to forfeit the weapon, which is a 9 millimeter Taurus. Uh, serial number TLU 57240. Uh, to count two, 12 months to serve 30 days, balance suspended uh, upon no further violations of laws. Uh, count two to run concurrent with count one. All right. Miss um, Hoover wishes to have uh, to make a comment in this case. Miss Hoover, can you unmute, please? Can you yes, raise your right hand for me? I'm mute. Raise yes, right ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Raise your right hand for me. Do you solemnly swear or affirm any testimony you give in this matter will be true? Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, you can put your hand down. Go ahead, ma'am. Tell me what you need me to know. Okay. First, I would like to say that I don't fear Mr. Allen in any type of way for me or my children. That day, whenever I called, I told the officers that I just wanted him to leave. I never wanted him locked up. And as far as the gun going off, it went off in the wall, but the children were not present. They were all the way down the hall. And we were in our room with the door shut. They didn't know what was going on until after everything happened. And we don't live in an apartment. We live in a mobile home. 
So, I mean, when he shot in the wall, it's not like we were living in an apartment where he shot through the wall and it could have potentially, potentially hurt someone else. Secondly, he's very sick. He has a lot of health issues. He's not getting his medicine in there. He has liver failure, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. As you see, he's an amputee. He has nerve damage. He has medicine that he has to take for that. He's not getting that. He hasn't been able to sleep because of him being sick and needing his medication. And I mean, I, I just want him out of. He's the victim judge there. And like I said, I don't fear for now, my Hoover, life at all. How do you know so, all of these things? How do you know he's not getting his medication and he's not able to sleep? I mean, I, <laughs> that's irrelevant, I feel. It's not. I love that. <laughs> it's irrelevant, I feel. A judge just asked you a direct question. It's entirely relevant. You're you're not qualified to understand what's what's relevant and what's not under the circumstances. But it, she asked you because she assumes, and she's correct, that you're that he's violating uh, his bond conditions and, and and talking to you. But her response is, "It's irrelevant." I feel. As soon as someone goes to the feelings, you you, you know it's on. It is. I mean, the, the big issue is why isn't he getting it? The issue is shouldn't be how do I the know? Big the big issue is should he, be why isn't he getting it? He's under a bond condition not to have any contact with you. Ms. Hoover, let me talk. She, she's she's giving her the old don't pee on my leg routine right now. Let me talk plain to you for a minute. All of Mr. Allen's health issues notwithstanding, you have not told me there's something wrong with his brain. Which then tells me that he should have enough common sense not to um, shoot a gun off into the walls or wherever it went um, in a house occupied by three minors. The biggest health um, challenge we have in America is gun violence. We lose more kids to gun violence and not just somebody killing them, but them picking up a gun, playing with an unsecured. I, I disagree with that entirely, but it does. It doesn't. But I agree with her main point. Uh, the, the gun violence is not. It's not. It's not the biggest issue. Yeah, I mean, obesity trumps it by a wide margin. But that's a little technical. A gun in a home and not knowing the requirements of gun safety and proper gun storage, and you're excusing. You're sitting there and you're excusing every single bit of bad behavior Mr. Allen has done. It's okay. My kids weren't afraid. They didn't know what was going on. Babies in the womb know if there's tension and violence in a home. So for you to tell me three fully formed children walking around with their own first and last name uh, don't know what's going on, ma'am, I'm just not buying that. It is time out for making excuses for people who have the potential to harm you or your children. Just making an excuse that him recklessly shooting off a gun, whether it's a mobile home or you don't know who could have been walking by. Bullets don't have a name on them. When people shoot up in the air, bullets have been known to come down and kill somebody. A woman shot up in the air trying to break up a fight. The bullet came down and killed her son, shot him straight, hit him straight in the head. So she lost her own son recklessly handling a gun. So when somebody recklessly handles a gun, that's a big thing for me because I, I'm not going to say people can't own guns. I own guns, but I've taken gun safety courses. I have a gun safe. I do all of the things I can to make sure that I protect my children and other people from my gun. You're sitting up here to make. I do love that. The crankiest people about gun safety are legal gun owners. They're, they're like, yeah. I've got one and there's a responsibility associated with that. And I don't have tolerance for this crap. It's beautiful. And excuses from a, for a grown man and none of his health challenges excuse his behavior. None of them, not one. And you and Mr. Allen have violated my order. Mr. Allen is the one under the order. You just helping him. But you, he's violated my order by having no contact. And if I needed to go back to the jail records and pull him, I could, which if you have contact in violation of a bond order, it could result in, in a, a additional um, jail time. It could result in additional misdemeanors. It could result in a felon. So not only is he reckless enough to shoot off a gun in a house and you make an excuse for him, he's not even listening to a judge order bond condition.
Mr. Allen, I was waiting for you to uh, get Hold on, Mr. Allen, because she's going to keep helping to bury you. I'm going to let her talk as long as she needs to. (laughs) Go ahead, (laughs) ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead, now that I've destroyed everything that you said and are about to say. Anything else you'd like to share with me? (laughs) Ah, I like it. I like it. I don't know this judge. Judge, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't have it all on there. They're, they're little dots, so I don't want to say Judge Tammy. We'll call her that. I understand you want him back in the home. There's a lot of reasons. Oh, you know that somebody might. I love him. He paying the bills. All of that. I don't care why you want him back. I don't care why you're here making the statement. But I do want to point out that in a in a era and a time where we're losing people to gun violence left and right. It, you are totally excusing him not setting a good example for the your kids who are in the home. And by the names, I'm going to guess we're looking at three young males who should be taking their example about gun safety, how to conduct themselves, how to, hand, how to not hurt themselves or recklessly handle a gun from the man in the house. And if the man in the house is shooting off guns in the wall and you're going to tell me a gun goes off in a mobile home and three young boys don't know what that sound is or know what it is. Ma'am, come I said on. They knew. Uh, they knew afterwards. Of course, they wouldn't know beforehand. Miss Hoover, I'm gonna need you to stop lying to yourself. But you know, I've heard your statement. I know you want him back in the house. I'll hear what their uh, what um, his attorney has to say. I, I don't find the recommendation unreasonable. Um, it's fine. It sounds good to me. But I thought you were gonna. Okay, so she she I mean that that was beautiful the way she she's just whatever she's trying to straighten her out, but in a good way. She's she's you know being slightly harsh, not even harsh, slightly real with her. But th- th- this woman needs it. This woman needs it. I mean, she tries to sell the story. Oh, the kids knew, knew nothing about it. They were all the way down the hall in a mobile home. Come on tell me something that was going to be enlightening. All you basically telling me is Mr. Allen's been calling you, begging you to get online to t- say something to get him out of jail because they're not treating him right. I didn't say he was begging me to get him out of jail. I never Ma'am, once said you it. didn't have to say it. You said it without telling me that because you know all about what's going on in the jail. Had you not had contact with him, you wouldn't know. I've been doing this a long time, Ms. Hoover. <laughs> I ain't psychic, but I'm Neon. I I I know how to pay attention. All right, Mr. White, what you got for me on Mr. Allen? Okay. As so, Mr. Al, Mr. White cringed while you buried his client. Go ahead, Mr. White. Tell me what you got. <laughs> well, with that yep. information in mind, and with the state's recommendation. Um, it is very clear that the victim in the case does want Mr. Allen back in the house um, regarding any potential um, misuses of bond. At this point, he would be sentenced to a, a sentence that would require no violent contact. So he would be able to talk with Ms. Hoover and take care of his kids, which seems to be in the best interest of both of them. I do believe that since uh, Mr. Hoover will be also be having to take a gun safety course and he will be forfeiting the gun, we would hope that Mr. Hoover would learn from this situation and the fact that he clearly did not like being in jail very much that he will now think more about his actions to avoid going back, Your Honor. Mr. Allen, I'm going to need you to use some common sense. you raising young men in this society where guns are killing young black males. I can say that. I got two black sons. Young black males are dying on the daily from mishandling guns, thinking gun culture is okay, using guns against each other. And what do you do? You set the very wrong example as the man in the house. I'm going to need you to man up. To be the man that you want them to grow up to be. You don't want them in an orange jumpsuit. You don't want them in front of a judge. So if you can't model that behavior, then get out of the house because all you're going to do is turn them into you in 20 years. When I'm ready to retire, those three boys are going to be here in front of me modeling the behavior that you showed them was okay. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Do you? Okay, then be the man. Set an example. 
Make sure your kids don't end up where you are. Mm -hmm. That's your responsibility in the household. Miss Hoover going to sit up there and make excuses for you, but that's not okay. Because a man should not need a woman to make it, to excuse their behavior. That's not a man. Right. And whatever helps. You know, it's funny you, how you were saying Hoover, that I'm making excuses on, for him, and that's Ms. all Hoover. you're touching on. Um, and a man. I'm gonna tell you, Mr. Allen. <laughs> I didn't see this part. She just muted her ass mid statement and should have. Like, like this isn't just. We're not having a conversation where you just pipe up whenever you feel like it. <laughs> It's a sentencing. Oh, good Lord. A man should not have to have somebody make excuses for him because none of your health challenges have anything to do with your ability to reason and make sense of life. I didn't make any excuses, ma'am. I understand what no, you No, no, I'm I'm clear on that. I'm mainly talking to Miss Hoover. She hot mad because she trying to plead your case, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but I, I didn't. You know, no, I'm, no, I'm not saying you made any excuses. I'm talking to Miss Hoover, but she shouldn't be making any excuses. You should go to her and apologize for the example you set for her and those children. Okay, and do better. I'm going to accept your plea of guilty to counts one and two. I'll sentence you to, on count one to 12 months to serve 30 days credit for time served. The balance will be probated for you to take a gun safety course. You're to also forfeit the nine millimeter Taurus, um, the uh, serial number that as was read into the record, um, and you're to pay a fine in the amount of $500. That $500 fine will be suspended in recognition of the time that you spent in jail, and you're to have no violent or harassing contact with Miss Paula Hoover, with Dontravius Neal, with Rontorius Staley, and with Messiah Allen. Do you understand all of these things? Yes, ma'am. Um and on count two, it's 12 months to serve 30 days, credit for time served, balance suspended as long as you have no new violations of the laws of the state of Georgia. That will run concurrent with count one. Now, what question did you have for me, sir? Nothing. Nothing. All right. If nothing is holding you, then you should be released today, okay? Well, there you have it. There you have it. Two rock solid clips, first thing in the morning. Thank you for sending those to me. You know who you are. I've already I've already mentioned it. That was good stuff. So I you know let, let me let me look over here. Let me give a the poll here. Where are we at? I don't I don't I don't know how to do oh 557 votes. 93% think he's committing crime. All right, just went down to 92. We've got some true believers out there. <laughs> But my my problem with with his assault story is is he wanted no part of the police out there. If if someone's coming at your wife as he calls her, which I frankly have my doubts about as well. But if someone's coming after your wife uh, to the point where where you're dropping f bombs in court, I think you want the police out there to arrest him. The reason you don't want the police out there to arrest him is they're they're not not the victims they claim to be. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about Secret Squirrel, if that is the case. I only saw that in the chat right now. Um, she was cool and, and, and was, was very, very cool to the channel. So I, I will say that, but I don't know, I don't know her personally. It's one of these internet things, so I don't know her personally. I don't know who that person is and I can't verify anything or whatever. I'm not calling anybody a liar or anything. I'm just, I'm just saying, don't, don't look to me to, uh, to tell you what to do about that scenario because I, all I, all I had was, was chat from that account. That that's all I can say. But uh, I, I imagine that is the case, and I, I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that's what I will say on that. And then, and. The, so then, and then the second clip that that judge was was refreshing that she's it, it's fine. She sends guys. She was actually nice to the guy, but j what she didn't like was getting shim sham by the by his uh, significant other. That's that's what was getting on her nerves, and it was just refreshing how she was dropping it, uh, dropping truth bombs on him. 
<laughs> just then she completed the sentence. She did. She didn't take it hard on him. At some point, the the woman leaves, but I don't know if she just left herself or she get booted because she she muted, muted her right <laughs> right mid speech, <laughs> which was perfect. She didn't even tell her. Just like you know, shut up. <laughs> It's not your turn to talk. That's it. I'm I'm finishing my sentencing. You had your piece. It's over. So I I don't know. I, I you know that that was that was fun to watch. But in the end, she she was she followed through in the sentencing. She wasn't hard on the guy. It was the best thing for the defendant to get her out of there because she was irritating the judge more than he was. I mean, she. She didn't like about his actions. She's going to chew him about that a little bit, which is standard issue at the sentencing. But but this one was just, you know, aggravating the situation by, by, by getting on the judge's nerves. And rightfully so. Ah, uh, All right. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. I will see you soon.